What's going on everyone? Michael Wolverine here. Today I am going to unbox a new VGM flash sale. So this box here, um, it has, uh, I believe it, NES, Super Nintendo, and uh, Nintendo 64. Um, for those who don't know, VGM will do these random flash boxes from time to time. Uh, they post them on Facebook and you can go online, you can agree to buy them and uh, <clears throat> pay for them and they'll send you a box. So usually they're just probably trying to get rid of inventory. Uh, a lot of times the labels are damaged or the cartridges might be damaged, but they're all promised to be in working condition and um, so on and so forth. And so they'll do them for various systems. So they're pretty cool uh, to participate in once in a while, but I don't know if I do this too often. Um, I did do a VGM flash sale for a um, <clears throat> uh, handhelds and uh, got a bunch of crappy games in it but that was to be expected. Uh, this one, they did say there would be some decent games. Uh, I think they mentioned in the post that like uh, Mortal Kombat and uh, I think Rush 2 was another game they mentioned in Star Wars. So we'll see what's in here. Um, I also don't own any NES currently or any way to play an NES. So I may end up getting one depending on what they send me. We'll see. Um, but yeah. Let's get it open and let's see what's in it. Give me a, a minute to get this tape off. All right. So I I actually didn't realize after I agreed to pay for it that they had um, pictures of the boxes with the actual games. Now, it was kind of hard to tell uh, what was in them. Obviously, there was... Some games I could see, some games I couldn't. I mean, you know, I saw some Maddens and, you know, some various games like that. Um, and so <clears throat> I thought it was a one to do, you know, just because I'm, I'm always in the market to get uh, Super Nintendo and uh, Nintendo 64 games. And yeah, there is some NES games I can see them right on top here. So we'll get those out. So this box costs me... $49.99 plus shipping. So I think with shipping, it was about $65. So it has 20 games. Again, NES, um, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo 64. And I believe most of them are NES. So that is a little disappointing, but again, maybe I may get a way to play these at some point. We'll see. Depends on what they send me. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and struggling with, struggling with this box. <sighs> so tape. Hold on one second. Let me just get this open just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, put this on the ground, and I'm gonna try not to look. So I'm going to get some packaging stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the NES first. Just because I want to get those out of the way, because I don't, like I said, have a way to play them. So I'm going to go through those. All right. So where does that start? Okay. All right. So here's the first one. Sesame Street 1, 2, 3. So the first NES game I've owned in probably uh, maybe 30 years. <laughs> it's this one right here. I actually think I had that one when I had an NES as a kid. I can't remember though. All right, next one. NES play action football. I have actually heard, uh, I think RG Fam Games did a really cool video of uh, all the 8-bit uh, NES games and I remember him talking about that one. So that one might be a cool one to check out if I ever can find a way to play it. All right, next one, another NES. This back label is a little ripped. Gyromite. So this is one of those uh, Rob the Robot games. That thing was a little chewed up, but overall, it's not, this one, yeah, this one's not in great shape. But the other, the first two games, really good shape, really good cartridges. So, so far, so good on the label, except for that Gyromite. Got another NES here. This is Hoops. Uh, this one. Got a little bit of wear on the sticker, but so far, I mean, these cartridges are in decent shape. All right. <clears throat> Bases loaded. 
Got a little uh, writing on the back. This was Dom's, Dom and R. Everett. Bases loaded. All right, next one. Silent Service. So, yeah, again, I, I don't know a lot about these NES games. I'm sorry, I'm not really saying too much. But um, I think I've seen some gameplay of some 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 of you guys getting this in your uh, BGM boxes. So that's probably all I know about that one. All right, another NES. Bunch of NES here. Ooh, nice. Top Gun. Now, this one is a little chewed up. But it's got a sticker right there on the label and a little bit of wear. The cartridge is a tad dirty, but... Um, yeah, this is one that I definitely wish I had an NES to play, so I may be in the market for one. Uh, I kind of wanted to see what I'd get in this box and see if it's even worth picking one up. Um, just having that debate in my head of should I start collecting for a new system, but the NES has got a bunch of classic games. So, um, all right. So I think the, I want to say, I'm trying to see one, two, three, four, five more NES games. And I think the rest are Super Nintendo and N64. So we'll do another NES. <clears throat> Bandai Golf. All right. Bandai Golf. All right. Another NES. What is this? Um, baseball, I, I guess. I, I don't even know what the name of this is. It doesn't say anything on it. It just says the baseball logo. There's nothing on the top. I guess this is just baseball. MLB baseball. So, all right, another NES here. <laughs> John Elway, quarterback. Cool. All right. It's really cool to get NES games. I mean, they're just so iconic, the cartridges and stuff. All right, next one. Oh, man, Double Dragon 2. I mean, yeah, it's really rough shape, but uh, this is a cool one. I mean, yeah, it's obviously really chewed up, really beat up, but... I mean, yeah, if it works, not bad. Double Dragon 2. All right, last NES game. Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. Uh, this one's, yeah, again, not too bad. Cartridge is obviously a little bit dirty, a little bit uh, kind of yellowed. Um, but, you know, decent shape. Most of these, other than the Double Dragon and the Top Gun, and I think Gyro Mate was the other one that was... A little chewed up or a little beat up. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that means we got eight games that are Super Nintendo and N64. So let's do, let's see, let's do Super Nintendo first. All right. <laughs> Stanley Cup. So yeah, this is actually a duplicate. I, I got this in my, um, Another unboxing video I did. This one is really bad shape. So, um, yeah. Hey, Stanley Cup. If anyone's interested in a uh, sticker, stickered up Stanley Cup, let me know. I got another one. All right. Another Super Nintendo. All right. So, NBA Live 97. I'm trying to think. Who is that on the cover? I can't remember who that is. He's on the Kings back in 96 97 I'm not sure but this one label's a little little torn up got a little sticker right here but not too bad you know I'll probably clean it up a little bit all right so let's move for another super nintendo game nc double basketball cool so this one's decent shape got a little bit of sticker wear there but not too bad What's, what's really crazy about this game is every time I see it, I always think it's Super Metroid. It looks so much like Super Metroid, but it's not, unfortunately. That would have been nice. All right, guys. Um, this is 64. I'm trying to just get all the Super Nintendo. I got another Super Nintendo kind of underneath some N64 games. Oh, cool. Pool. Yeah, this one's real bad. Real bad shape label. Really ripped up there. Really just faded um but i actually am interested in this one uh, for whatever reason i just thought it would be a cool game to pick up at some point but um yeah so as long as it works that's what matters all right uh, so a lot of n64 in here 
think there's one more Super Nintendo game. What is this? Daffy Duck? The Martian Missions. So, I don't know a lot about this game, but at least it's not a sports game. Uh, it's got a really bad label up there. You know, I'm not... Obviously, some wear. There's a little bit of a Sharpie on the back. But, you know, maybe it's a decent game. I don't know. Don't know a lot about it. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. So what did I say? We had 12 NES games, five of those. So we should only have... I think they sent me more than 20 games. I feel way more in here. We'll count them up at the end. All right, guys. Uh, in six... Hold on. Let me just... I thought I found another Super Nintendo... All right, Rester in 64. Oh, nice. NASCAR 99. Got a nice little in label, too, on it. Yeah, this one's a nice shape. You know, a little bit of dirt or some grime or something on the back, but not bad. NASCAR 99. So, yeah, they said they only want to be 20 games, I think, unless my math is wrong. I feel like they've sent me more. We'll see. And then 64. Monster Trunk Madness. So, you know, this one's really cool. In kind of a weird, just nostalgic kind of way, the fact that it has that Rockstar label on it. I think this was the only one that, only N64 game that has a Rockstar label. Remember you telling me that, Josh. Um, and I think because Body Harvest is the other one that they made, but they didn't have the label on it. So I'm curious to check this one out, you know, just because it's a Rockstar game. But obviously you can tell the, the label is in really rough shape. All right, guys, another N64 game. Haha, -ha, nice. NFL Quarterback Club 98. Got a little bit of rip on the back, but overall, this is a nice condition cart besides that. But I had 98 growing up, and I, I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know about 99, but we'll see. All right, another N64 game. Oh, man. Madden 99. They got Madden Football 64, um, and I can't remember if this was the first one. They they had the NFL license, or there was a Madden 98, I'm not sure. But uh, got a little grime right there, but overall, decent cart. All right, I think we are down to our last one, guys. So let's see if we're going to go out with a bang. <laughs> like I said, NFL Quarterback Club 98. And this one, yeah, definitely got a... Really bad sticker residue grime right there. <laughs> it says South Park on the top. And it has really bad sticker on the back. So I'm not sure why it says South Park. Maybe South Park is in... Maybe the board is in this game. I'll pop it in and see. I don't know. But um, yeah, so NFL Quarterback Club 98. And yeah... That's it, guys. So, like I said, I think they sent me more games. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, and 64 games. One, two, three, four, five Super Nintendo games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, they sent me 22 games. I think it said 20, but hey, I'll take it. Um, overall, not too bad. I feel like the NES games are probably... There's probably a couple... Good games in there, you know, Top Gun's decent, you got um, Double Dragon 2, probably decent, you know, a bunch of sports games, but that's to be expected. Um, Super Nintendo highlight will probably be the Daffy Duck game, I mean, I don't know, I'll have to pop it in and see, it's made by Sunsoft, I don't think they sent me anything else that was worth it. And for N64, um, yeah, I mean, Monster Truck uh, Madness 64 is one I'm curious to check out. Um, obviously not in the best shape, but uh, that's all right, as long as it works. And uh, hey, maybe this is South Park. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you checking out the video. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.